This video is specifically for users of Excel 2013 that don't have the Power Pivot add-in installed, but who do have access to the business intelligence functionality in Excel 2013, which is referred to as the data model. One way to find out if you have a version that does have the data model functionality built in is to click on the data tab and then connections and add. Click the drop down and if you see add to the data model then you know your version of Excel does support it. So what benefits does the data model offer over regular Excel functionality? As you may already know you can create a classic pivot table from a range such as this, which is a list of sales of bikes and accessories by country and by month, by clicking in the range, clicking insert, pivot table, and deciding where you want to put it. A bit of drag and drop, and there you have your pivot table. But as I've explained in other videos, if you click in the pivot table, which brings up your pivot table tools, click on the Analyze tab, you'll see that the OLAP tools is greyed out. It's not available. That means you can't take advantage of Excel's Q functions that allow you to place your report wherever you want. You may be familiar with the concept that if you try to insert a column or row in a pivot table, then you get an error message. So to take advantage of Excel 2013's data model, here's what you need to do. Click in your range and then do insert table. Say my table has headers and click OK. Whenever you click in a table, the table tools tab will become visible and that allows you to change the name of the table. By default Excel will give it a name like table 1, table 2 and it's definitely worthwhile for you to change that. And we'll make that sales 1. Then when you click in your range and click insert pivot table, choose the option use an external data source, choose connection, click on the tables tab and there's your sales 1 table. Then double click or click open. We'll put it in this worksheet. OK. And with a bit more drag and drop as before, we end up with the same pivot table. But this time, when we click on the Analyze tab of the Pivot Tables tools, the OLAP tools drop down is enabled and we can convert to formulas. This means we now have cube value functions that retrieve the data and we can see that those are driven by the column headings and row labels and report filters. And as I've said in other videos, this makes it easy to take part of a report and cut it and paste it somewhere else while retaining the link to the database. This is a particularly useful feature if you're creating reports that require very specific placement, as is often the case with financial or management reports and particularly dashboards. But there are other benefits of manipulating your data ranges and making them link tables in the data model. For example, in this case, the same sales listing but we don't have product group names, we have product codes. So when we build a pivot table, we get these rather ugly headings that nobody understands. One way around this, obviously, would be to insert an additional column and do a V lookup to the product group table, which might look something like this. But let's make this into a table. and we call it products. Then we can click in the table, click data, relationships, new, and we'll select, this is the sales to table now, the one that has the product codes, and we'll say product group code is the column, and the related table is our products table 
also with product group code. So we've created a relationship between the sales table, the sales to table, and the products table. And close. So this time when we create a pivot table and click insert pivot table, we go to use external data source tables and we choose the tables in the workbook data model. And we'll put that in the existing sheet. You can see all the tables in the data model listed here and it's important that you choose the right ones. The table that has the product codes is sales2. So we'll put our amount in the values area, country on rows, month in the report filter. But instead of choosing the product group code, we're going to go to the products table and choose the product group. I think you'll find that in anything but the most trivial uh, pivot tables that using the data model, creating relationships between your tables is a much more powerful way to build them and it avoids unnecessary use of the lockup functions. So to conclude then, even if you don't have the Power Pivot add-in, if your version of Excel 2013 supports the data model, then you can take advantage of the data relationships between tables and also the ability to convert your pivot tables into formulas. And you're not just limited to data that's already in ranges in Excel sheets that you convert into linked tables. You can import data from external sources such as CSV files. Just remember that you're, limit, you're limited to a maximum size of 10 megabytes for your workbook. Thank you. Visit ExcelCraft.com for more information on Excel's business intelligence functionality.